Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing IS Roma 1 Feyenoord nil in the 2022 UEFA Europa Conference League final. Roma are your inaugural UEFA Europa Conference League champions. First team to win this tournament under Jose Mourinho finishing the treble of UEFA European Cup competitions. Two UCLs, two UEFA Cups, and one conference trophy. One goal decided this game in the 33rd minute. Nicolo Zaniolo with a run into the box, gets right up to the keeper and chips him, puts it into the net. Pretty damn scrappy. Not the most beautiful goal, but it's enough. 33rd minute, 1-0. That's the way we go into the half. That's the way we go to full-time. Full-time stats, 1-0 for Roma. Nine shots to 13, three shots on goal to five, 33% possession to 67% possession, 289 passes to 572 passes, 73% pass accuracy to 89% pass accuracy, eight fouls to 18, one offside to zero, four yellow cards to one, zero, off, zero red cards to zero, and four corners to six. When it came to this match, it was all... You could say, yeah, Feyenoord definitely had offensive chances. They were not good defensively, not good enough defensively, and they got stymied by Roma. You expected this to happen. It's a Jose Mourinho Cup final. What do you expect? One goal, the other team gets stymied. They didn't want, I think they were trying to be nice, frankly, because they knew they were the overbearing favorites here, Roma. They knew it. We all knew it. We knew they should have kicked Feyenoord's ass. Defensively, they did. Should have been more to the score line, but they're like, no, we'll, we'll be nice. We'll be nice. And they basically just went full Jose Mourinho after they scored one, because honestly, Feyenoord didn't have any end product, frankly. Yeah, they had pressing. Yeah, they had forward play. They had no end product. And Rui Patricio, for the chances that Feyenoord did have, saved them, because Rui Patricio is a good goalkeeper. Simple as. There was nothing there to basically say Roma shouldn't have won that match, and they weren't. They were the better team, frankly. They were the better team. That's Jose Mourinho's MO, what we saw here tonight. It was boring to say. I mean, of course, the match was boring after, besides the one goal, but Roma did exactly what you expect them to do or what Jose Mourinho teams are expected to do. You expected that out of them. You expected this out of them. I thought, but I thought maybe they would kick Feyenoord's ass on the scoreline. They did not. They were like, you know what? We'll be nice. 1-0. That's it. We know you ain't scoring. Shut you down defensively. But that's probably nicer and looks better on the other team than Roma. But with that being said... Roma still dominated. Defensively, there was no question. Jose Mourinho played prime park the bus after they scored, and there was nothing that Feyenoord could do about it. Absolutely nothing. It was absolutely master class by Roma. It was a master class today by Roma. It, it was a master class. Good football match. It was, it was a great master class. That's what this match was. A master class by IS Roma. That's what it was. And you look at the situation and it's like, yeah, I could totally see how this team would play this well. And they did. Roma were the favorites. They played like they were the favorites and they were the favorites and they won like favorites. They deserve to win this trophy. They deserve to win this game and they did exactly what they needed to do. That's exactly this game. Feyenoord never had an answer. They never did. I don't care how much possession you have. If you're getting stymied by a defense like Mourinho's, you're getting stymied. There's, there's absolutely no answer that they had. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Settle. Whatever you want to say, they had no answer. It was over before it even started. Feyenoord were never going to win this match or even tie it up Roma were the better team and such as you see 
they they were better completely that's all i gotta say feyenoord fans if i were you i'd be proud nobody thought you'd get this far absolutely nobody people thought it'd be lester people thought roma people thought nobody thought feyenoord nobody and, and y'all got here deservedly so y'all got here deservedly so you fought your ass off and it just felt the final hurdle but i would be proud if i'm a feyenoord fan i would be proud that's football this happens you lose finals against teams that are better than you it would be nice to see a Cinderella story finish off the way it should, but it's against Jose Mourinho, so no, I wanted Jose to win, and he won. There you go. So with that being said, Roma fans, if I were you, celebrate. Jose Mourinho has brought you back to relevance, goodness, being a good football club, being a worth it football club, and a respectable football club. It seems like the teams that aren't Juventus are starting to work their way back up. Inter Milan, AC Milan, Napoli, Roma, and it's beautiful to see. I would say it's beautiful to see. It's better to see competition in Roma. As long as they keep Mourinho, are going to be competitive. And honestly, I could see them kicking on and winning the Scudetto. I really do. If they keep playing like the way they are, they have the team that they have. And obviously the Europa League next year, I could see it. Roma's got a very good situation here, and they're building up something great. They're in good hands. I could see them doing a European Cup two in a row from conference to Europa. Not Maybe not up to the Champions League in 2024, but that would be awesome as well. But Roma is a very good team. They're in good hands under Mourinho. Celebrate. Be happy. And love this tournament. Love this win. It is absolutely a great run for IS Roma. Tammy Abraham didn't do anything tonight, but did well overall. Zaniolo with the winner. Great win. Great win. Man of the match, speaking of, Nicolo Zaniolo. The one goal. I think it has to be him. Scrappy, but it was what it was. It was a good goal. It was there. No problem. That's a winner. 1-0. Zaniolo, man of the match. But that's my thoughts about this match. So if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell notification. Once you subscribed, send a super chat on the live streams, put a comment on this video, put this a playlist, share it with your friends and family, all that great stuff. Later tonight, I still got three more pieces of content. Live stream, watch along, and review for... CF Montreal versus Forge FC in the Canadian Championship and a live watch along for LA Galaxy versus LAFC, the El Trafico, and the U.S. Open Cup. I still got more. So I'll see you again. It's a busy day. I'll see you again. I'm out. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. Dai Roma, Forza Italia. Forza.